Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Wattsminer Universal Test Fixture, which can be used to test the M30 and M50 series of air-cooled miners. The main board of this fixture is the CB4 V10 control board. It is an adapter board. This one is a hash board ribbon cable. Similarly, it is also a ribbon cable. All three are used to connect the test fixture to the tested hash board. This is an Ethernet cable, used to connect the tester to the computer, so that we can view the test log. An adjustable PSU, used to power the hash board. When measuring, the voltage should be consistent with the output voltage of the miner's PSU, and the current should be set to the maximum. This one is used to power the tester, with the voltage set to about 12 volts, and the current is 10 amperes. Of course, we can also use the miner's PSU to power the fixture. A computer, used to display the test log. Today, we will be testing an M50 hash board, whose ASIC chip model is KF19680E. Next, connect all devices and cables as shown in the video. Alright, all connections have been completed. Now, we power on the tester. When the red and green indicator lights flash simultaneously, indicating it has completed the self-check. Start setting up the testing software on the computer. Open the testing software. Click on Session. Then switch. Enter the correct remote host. Check specify username, and enter root. Then click OK. This screen appears indicating there is no problem with the connection between the computer and the tester. Continue setting the computer's IP. Open the network on the computer. Choose Ethernet. Find Change Adapter Options here. Right-click to select Properties. Then select Internet Protocol version 4 and change these IP addresses as shown in the video. This completes all settings. Power the hash board. And enter the command in the testing software. Press the enter button. The test results are displayed here, showing the ASIC chip model and quantity. That's all for how to use this test fixture. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a message in the comments section. Thank you everyone.